Mama Bear is going on a date. I'm not going to sleep until Mommy gets home. Uh, me and Because me. I need to make sure she gets her butt in here. <laughs> Chilly outside. I know you're like, what? You going on a date? Your phone is charging. Girl, you always telling me that. Well, that's what I said. <sighs> well, I am here where I am supposed to be. And I bet you guys are like, what? She's going on a date? What? <laughs> I got you guys crunk. It is a Taekwondo date. <laughs> and you're like, what? A Taekwondo date? Yeah, it's all of us having like a group date. It's so cute. It is not a romantic date. Don't be getting crunk and lunklicious. <laughs> I'm hanging out with some more people. I hung out with people um, last year, like a few, like six months ago, something like that. Um, and they were, they were drama filled. That was just the thing with them. There's no parking. This is a new place that I'm living in and I don't want to, oh, you troll, you found parking before I did. Um, And I don't want to start off being around drama filled people. When I did Taekwondo, it's like, it's so cool to be around people that like the same sport you like, so you have the same interests. Everybody's so funny. It's fun. Where is this parking? But I am going to be late trying to find a doggone parking space. They're gonna be like, where's Kim? Where's Kim? Twirling around in circles in the parking lot. Y'all arrived. I know I arrived, shut up. I'm in the parking lot. Twirling, swirling around. Oh, I thought that was a space. <laughs> that was a tiny little car. I have to park across the street. I would be twirling around the whole time that they're there. Hopefully I'm not the only one late. She's over there and I'm standing here waiting. Yeah, I was waiting for her. Like we're waiting for her. She's waiting for us. She's gonna move. Go. I think I was going to say that it's cold here, but I am cold. I am cold. Oh, this is dry, y'all. They dry. No, 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 no. <sighs> it was fun. It was really fun, you guys. After Korean barbecue, we went and got tea. So good, so good. I'm going to add my water. Where am I going to put this? Let me unstrap. This is not gonna fit in the kids' thing. Ugh, will it fit in Eddie's thing? Yeah, it fits in Eddie's booster seat. <laughs> okay, take this off. Whew. Whew. Get myself together. But yes, the date went well. No, it was not a romantic date, y'all. Not at all. I'll talk to you guys on the way home. So let me prop you guys up on the tripod, on the thing thing, and not on, I just have you guys laying on the dashboard. Instead of having you guys, I'm gonna show you what, what I'm talking about. Hold on. I need to prop you guys up on that so I can drive 
without a problem. Okay, dokie. Okay. Let's see if I can turn this on. And I'll ride with that on for as long as I can until I feel uncomfortable like I'm not supposed to. I don't know if there's a real rule if you could really do that though. Is there a real rule? Oh man, I'm making a mess. Is there a real rule that you can't drive with your light? Because I don't have all the lights on now. I turned those off and I just have this charging. one. Yeah, I know with charging, girl, you always in my business. You always telling me in charging. Now let me get off this grass because I am parked on the grass. And I don't want to ride on anything inappropriate and hurt my tires. Am I sideways, y'all? If I'm sideways, I am so sorry. You guys just gonna have to deal with it. I guess I fixed, y'all. <laughs> I kind of straightened y'all up real quick. I want to bring it back old school when I used to drive and um and talk to you guys um let's talk i know you guys have all flew to this video and you're like oh my god kim's going on a date oh my gosh it was for all of us in our taekwondo class it was for us to get to know each other and like outside of our uniform and outside of taekwondo and it's just to hang out because it was in a we're in an adult class like I don't know, just for us to like bond and be friends and things like that. And it was so cool. I really liked it. Not only that, it's like finding friends that are positive and then to see the masters outside of their master form. But you could still see that, that strongness in them, but they were more chill and like hanging out with them and seeing everybody in like regular clothes, especially like the masters in regular clothes. I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, Kim went on a date and we need to hear all about it. But it wasn't a romantic date. It was just like a Taekwondo date. It was so cool. And we went and had Korean barbecue. And then after that, we went and had tea. The thing that I wanna talk about, cause I know you guys are gonna like blow up the comments about it. It's like, okay, that's cute, Kim. But when are you going to go on a date? <laughs> the thing is, I don't know, it's like, I enjoy being single. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I've been married before. Um, and I've been divorced, but this was way back in my 20s. I was a baby when I got married, a baby. I don't know if it's because I'm so independent, but not in a negative way. I think I think we've, we've stapled that woman independence as a negative form, like uh, a woman who's independent got an attitude. A woman who's independent wants to be a man. A woman who's independent is strange. I don't know, but I'm not like that. It's like I'm independent because I have to be. Like there is no man around. But if I did have a man, I wouldn't act like I could do that myself. I don't need you doing this. I wouldn't be like that. I'll step back, but I'll still be itching to want to help. I wouldn't be itching to want to do it myself and tell you to get out of the way. I don't need you. It would just be like, you need any help? <laughs> like that. But I don't know. It, I, it really got weird when I became a mom. And you're like, weird, what do you mean? Like, not caring if I had a man. I had, um, what did I call him? Was it Honey Bunches of Oats? Did I call him that? His name was Corey. And we started off as friends. It got to a point where he, um, what'd you call it? He, he was just always, the thing about it is that he was always, I don't want to say sad, but he was always on the negative spectrum of thinking about life. He always said that I, every time he came around me, because we didn't live too closely, we lived almost like 45 minutes to an hour away. This was all in Connecticut. And he would say, whenever he would come around me, it, he was just, he felt so calm and so positive. But then I was like, yeah, but whenever you're around me, I feel like I'm always doing a job of having to lift you up. Lizzie met him. She was so tiny and she loved him. She's not gonna remember. She was like the size of a baby doll, so she's not gonna remember him. But she absolutely loved him. And we broke up. And once I became a mom, I was really, we're we going the right way, yeah. And once I became a mom, I was really, really picky on being in relationships. And if I find somebody, I find somebody. And if I don't, I don't. And like Eddie showed up. And then I was just so focused on adopting Eddie and being a mom and making sure my kids were safe. 
that I wasn't even thinking about being in a relationship anymore. And some people are like, you, you need to go on dates. You need to do this. You need to do that. And I'm like, why? Like, if it's meant for me, God will bring someone in my life. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like, if I go the rest of my life and not be with somebody, I will be fine. But you never know. It, it, like, you're like, oh, Kim, a couple years ago, you said you weren't going to be with nobody. But here you are, girl. You married and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm probably talking all in circles because I'm trying to focus on getting home and I'm worried about the light being on the whole time driving. I'm single because I'm keeping myself out of the limelight. I don't want anyone to think that I'm like one of those women like, I don't need no man. That family, you need that bond, you need that partnership. But if you don't have it, you didn't fail. Like, I don't know how to explain it. If you don't have it, you didn't fail. And if you do have it, you're not the best thing popping because you can have something and it look good on the outside, but in, in reality, it's not good. Would I want my, my kids to have a male figure? Of course, I would. But you can also have a male figure without that male figure being romantic with you. Um, so, I don't know. So that's why it's like I put my son in Taekwondo. He was the first one that went. That's why I put my son in Taekwondo. And, and then also, <laughs> we have a neighbor. He's so sweet. And he's, he's older. And I was telling Eddie, I said, Eddie, he, um, I, I'm going to, I'm going to have our neighbor be like your mentor because he, he's very nice. We haven't seen him in a while. I'm about to go down there and knock on his door and be like, yo, where have you been? Because he always comes to the house and he always goes, hey, how you doing? And, um, he said, he's always saying, uh, when is your store opening? <laughs> you always tell me that he knew about my store before y'all knew about the store. And he was like, yeah, where's the store? I'm like, it's coming, it's coming. Like, leave me alone, you're pressuring me. <laughs> I'm all over the place, I don't even know what to say. This is, the, I gotta get back into talking and driving with y'all, because I used to do this years ago. And usually what I do now is sit in the car, just sitting with the car off and driving. Um, like sit in the car with the car off and driving, girl. Sitting in the car when it's off and not driving. Why I'm single? I'm single because I put myself in that situation. I don't put myself out there because I'm afraid of my kids getting attached to someone and it not working out for us and my kids being sad that they lost someone in their life. My son gets super attached to people, super attached. My daughter, mm, not so much, but my son, he gets super attached with anyone. And I know that that would really hurt him. I remember talking about this a couple years ago in a video. And there was this one person that said, I should, I, I my kids shouldn't meet the guy I'm with until 10 years. I should be dating someone for 10 years before. And I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? I'm not having a relationship in secret. Like what type of foolishness is that? And then I come home like, guess what? Mommy's engaged. <laughs> and they're like, wait, you had a boyfriend? And I'm like, uh, yeah, where have you been? And you have to be respectful to me, duh. And you have to be respectful for my kids. You have to like my kids. And then you have to embrace them like they're yours because if you had kids, I would definitely embrace them like they're mine. You know, some women are just fearful of getting in a relationship because they're scared to get their heart broken. No, I'm scared for my kids to get their heart broken. I don't know, that's, that's just my biggest thing. So that's the main reason why I'm single is because I don't put myself out that I'm doing it on purpose. If I wasn't a mom, I probably would have been on uh, dates already because it would just be my heart that I would have to guard. But here I'm guarding three hearts, my big heart and their tiny little baby hearts. <laughs> and I just pray to God and I tell him, I say, if if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And if it's not, it's not. And I'm perfectly fine. But I know that if I was to start dating, they would definitely be happy. Um, Eddie would just fall in love immediately. That's just Eddie. That's his thing. He's so charming. He's so, he, he's so friendly and outspoken. Lizzie would be the one that would be sitting back in the cut, checking you out like, what you want with my mama? Eddie would be friendly until he sees 
the guy being affectionate and kissy kissy on me he'd be like eh stop that eh like he would hate that he'd be like stop so write in the comments down below and and talk about like when you were a single mom and you had kids whether your kids were little and you dated does it get harder when the kids are teens and you're dating because they're looking at the guy like wait what you want with my mama and they're looking at things different like I don't like him like I don't like the way he says this or that um like talk to, to me let me know how it was with you guys or whatever or if you guys were very guarded or hesitant things like that I don't know you can tell me your success stories you can tell me some of your horror stories just put your testimonies in the comments below like he's not just dating me he's dating three people he's dating the holding it down family okay we come as a package holding it down The whole house went to bed. Yeah, <laughs> what are you doing up? Water. <laughs> no, you're being nosy. You heard me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I literally came out of my room because I heard the camera. Uh -huh. So I came out and I was like, Look at her, just nosy. And then I walked over to my bottle. <sighs> like where did you <laughs> were you in the closet no I was oh. in my room on my bed it's getting home because like she's been gone for like three two hours oh look at him look at her being nosy bothering Nana when I'm coming home I ran away I think she's coming home at seven and she said maybe she's staying longer yeah I'm not texting her because then he said away. text her text her she's like I'm not texting Oh, did y'all want to bother somebody? Eh, I'm running away. I'm running away to Korea. Sure about that? Yep, I'm sure about that. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> he just immediately ran and touched my book, and my teacher's allergic to cats. What, she said that? Yes. Oh, his teacher's allergic to you. Say hi to the ladies. Someone else coming? Where did you come from? Nana's room. Do a hey ladies, Tyler. Hey ladies. Why were you in there with Nana? Yeah, tonight we're having um, uh, Nana and me night. Oh sister. Lord, you're driving her crazy. I've been in my room the whole day. Sister, sister, sister. You lie, you outside. Well, outside and in my room. That's I was scared because I heard the door stand on my side. What if someone's breaking? Yo, they Why are you going like this to me? <laughs> They all three of them act like I ran away. Mm -hmm. He crying. Mm -hmm. That like, cat. Like me. She come out me getting me. water. I told myself I'm not going to sleep until mommy gets home. Uh, me and because me. I need to make sure she gets her butt in here. Me. Look at them. I can't do nothing. I can't go nowhere. Now she coming out. Y'all. Y'all saw the whole house was dark. Now everybody. It was me and Tyler. Y'all, I can't. I can't go nowhere. You can't. We were worried about you. I'm still going back I can't go nowhere. We were worried about you. Yeah, no, yeah. Look at them. Nana, All of them. We're really helping like pray for a pray for. You will hurt yourself. What? I oh, Lord, you hear them? That's it. No, because you act like you're so aware. I said, I was worried. Why don't you just pray? I was worried. I wasn't really telling you. Look at them. All I of them. I was worried about you. I told myself, I know it don't take an hour to get there. Then she was there for an hour, and then she came yeah. back in an hour. Yeah. Look at him. I'm running away to Korea. I'm glued to her. <laughs> Ow, yeah, this is hurting my arm. I'm not even doing anything. Don't go without me. This boy done put some shoes on. Don't go without me. My shoes are at the door. Yo. <laughs> told y'all had two little hearts to worry about. They won't even let me go out. Now you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Tyler, grab on. Grab her leg. Tyler, grab her leg. I'm a koala. You. Look at him. <laughs> I koala. I better stop hanging on me so I can actually fall asleep. No. I'm I take in my bracelet back. No, you can't have that. Look it's mine. It's mine. It's mine and she stole it from I me. I did. I did. Me 
But I got this one. I have a banana. Mina, she said, me, even when you come back, me and her are going to watch. Well, you better be careful because she slipped away and she probably went and locked her door. <laughs> Is it locked? Yes. <laughs> about me. I told you she slipped away and <laughs> the door. Tyler probably opened your door and went right back in your room. No, he's under the table. He is? Under what table? He going out. He going? No, he's right there. Oh, he went under the table? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he always hiding somewhere and whining. Hiding somewhere and start crying. Oh, she locks it from Tyler, because Tyler will come in our rooms, and he's not allowed in two rooms, my room and Nana's room. Oh, he's right there. No, it's us. It's us. The cat is <laughs> <not> in here. <laughs> <Not coming. laughs> no, we were listening. Dad, join the club. Join the club. Come on. Wait, we got to say goodbye to the friends. It's bouquet. It's No, it's es bonique. Es bonique. Laina. Laina, them to say goodbye and not sing the Puerto Rican the national anthem. I know some amigos. Guys, please comment down below. Kimberly is the best mom in the whole entire universe. Spam the comments. Blessing from the God. Get it. Spam the comments. Those are my Puerto Rican kids. I will see you guys next time. And no. once again, no matter how hard life gets, keep holding it down. Way to go. Get it. He's a good preacher.